Welcome to another video guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, how to install a hitch. Um, this is going to be a Kurt hitch on a 2020 to 2023 Ford Explorer. Stay tuned. Music bed. So this is what comes in the box. Um, I went with the Kurt hitch, uh, which is for 2020 to present. This is the part number here. Um, so you'll fit the Explorers. Now, if you buy a new Explorer, you can order it with the hitch already installed. Um, this one, it was already at the dealer and it did not have the hitch. Now, if you can take it afford or buy a hitch off Ford, but they're way more expensive. This one was about 200 dollars on amazon um, ships directly comes with all the instructions uh, comes with all the hardware here um, even comes with the little uh, fishing wires to put your bolts in there and they say you need a quarter inch drill bit tape measure marker some shears uh, seven millimeter socket and extension 10 millimeter with extension and 21 millimeter so um, I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath the vehicle here I should have enough room to work on it without really racing the vehicle but we do have to drop the exhaust a little bit so I'm gonna go underneath and see what I have to do first and then I'll show you the steps working underneath the vehicle so looks like the uh, exhaust hanger here on the back uh, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right on top of it right here so we're going to remove that on both sides and then this uh, rubber hanger will have to um, take it off the exhaust here so i'll probably put a little bit of the led 40 um, on the metal just so it slides out both of these so that way you can slide them out and once you take the bolt off here on both sides then the exhaust is going to drop so um, i'll probably put something here between both sides and then I'll put my jack and that way I can uh, lower it you know um, gently down so it doesn't just fall down so um, believe the exhaust there on the front has like the you know the a flex pipe kind of so it'll it'll, um, it'll go down a little bit we just want to make room to get to these bolts here on the inside where we're gonna um, remove the heat shield from here.
Okay, next we're gonna put the bolts on there. So this is those little plates. This is what's gonna kind of keep this bolt from turning. So it's got the square, kind of like bumper bolts. Um, and since it's long, you know, once you tighten it, it's gonna kind of get stuck in there. <clears throat> and these are the wires that they include to fish those bolts through there. So um, you see the one bigger hole in here, and that's where you're gonna feed the uh, front bolt that goes towards the front, and then the other bolt is just gonna sit in that same hole. So, um, but what you do with this, you know, you undo it, and then you're gonna put the wire through the hole in here, and then you're gonna thread the bolt into the coil here. And so what you're gonna do once you do that, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see in there, but um, so for the front one I already put it in there, but you just fish the wire in, push this piece in there, and then push the wire the bolt in there, pull it out from the hole, and then it's gonna lay you guide it. From this one, I'm gonna put the bolt here first, put the little square in. And then you can kind of see um, with the wire, since you have the bolt held, you can pretty much put it through that spacer. And leave the wire in there. Uh, we're gonna put this through the holes on the hitch, but that's gonna keep, you know, so you don't push the bolt in with the hitch. That way they stay in. So um, now I'm ready to put the hitch back in there. It's a little on the heavy side, so I'm gonna um, see what I can do, maybe put some sort of a, I don't know, maybe like my jack or something down here to uh, help support it. But um, the other thing is you have to cut this uh, piece here um, on the bottom. So you have to cut it, you know, uh, for the hitch to kind of go through because the little receiver is going to be right around this area here. And so with that, um, you know, this will be kind of on the way. So you have to cut and they give you the dimensions. So I think four inches in, uh, three and a half, you just cut this little spot here. Um, I have the bumper loose, so I guess I'll probably have to cut that here in a second because um, I don't think I can really put that hitch in there with this part just like that. So um, let me figure the dimensions, measure that out, and then get I did cut, you just cut the bottom of the bumper so you can't really see it. Um, I could have probably used like a grinder with the metal, you know, a diamond blade and cut it straighter, but um, you can do it with the shears, like the instructions say. Uh, definitely, um, if you're just doing it by yourself, it's a little heavy, but you can kind of maneuver it. Um, I'm using this box here to hold it up. Um, it was just a little hard by myself to pull the box in, but. Uh, you know, you just kind of figure out. Uh, definitely have your bolts ready. I didn't have them while I was there because I could have just, you know, put one of these, uh, not the bolts, but the nuts. I could have put one of these nuts in there and, uh, you know, I could have held it kind of from the back. But it's, you can let it rest on the exhaust, on the mufflers on the back side because it's not that heavy. 
really the the heavy part is here uh, make sure you have something that's decently strong to hold it um, so I'm gonna go in there now and put the bolts in there so I have to be careful do one at a time so I can take off the wire and put the nut in there make sure I don't push the bolt in because then I have to remove the whole thing so um, be careful with that and then once I have it all bolted on um, there's torque specs on the bolts uh, you know on these nuts it's uh, 75 foot pounds and then that one that you remove which you replace with these it's 146 foot pounds so um, keep that in mind you'll need a torque wrench to torque it other than that um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that bolted uh, back on and then we're gonna figure out the heat shields afterwards mention on the instructions is you need a three-quarter inch for these nuts um, and then you need a I don't know where the other one went <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, 15 16 for the big bolt that you're gonna replace the other one with so um, I put the bolts in here that, you know, let me move the uh, fascia here down. So there's one on this side, one on the other side, and that just kind of holds this in place. Um, if you have the kick sensor on the bottom here of your Explorer, uh, be mindful when you're cutting this piece because the sensor runs along the bottom here. So you'll have to remove these rivets here on the bottom. They do include the new ones, but that way you can move that sensor out of the way. Um, so you don't want to cut it then that's probably an expensive piece there uh, other than that um all set to put the heat shields back in here so um, on the instructions it does give you like kind of like a template to cut um, i'm guessing you cut where like the bolts are there so uh, i'm gonna see how that works and then install the heat shield and then i'll show you guys what i So it's all finished um, this is the final product so really I mean it's not bad um, that's really all you can see there on the hitch uh, it is a little bit different than the Ford option uh, the Ford option I believe the Explorers that have factory so if you get installed the dealer they'll have to replace this uh, rear fascia because the ones with the hitch have kind of like a cutout and the hitch sits about five inches higher here um, but this one I mean you know it's just right there if you need it higher you can buy one of those receivers that go up uh, you know so that's no big deal like I said this is very affordable not too bad to install it uh, if you have someone helping you it's a lot easier on the heat shield um, I didn't cut it like the instructions say what I ended up doing is 
Um, I pushed it in where the bolts go. Uh, you know, just kind of forced it in there, especially with the ones that are right where the hitch is, and just started the nuts, um, and then started all all the nuts there, and got a body hammer and just kind of hit it around the uh, nuts that I put to hold the hitch. So it kind of molded the uh, hitch shield up around that nut. Um, and so on the instructions, you know, you cut that like an inch and a half hole for that nut to go through. And I don't know why you cut the slit, maybe just to let it flex more. But I, I felt like that was just going to kind of make the whole heat shield be really flimsy. So um, I did it that way. Like I said, I just hit it with a body hammer and everything lined up on the side, bolts, everything. Um, I put the exhaust and the bolts. Um, I looked and I mean, you have about at least three quarter inch or so clearance between the muffler and the heat shield, um, even the way I did it. So um, that should be fine, but uh, you, you are more, you know, you're, you can just cut it on yours if that's what you prefer. Other than that guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, Enjoy the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, any comments, questions, leave them below.